I don't have many fond memories growing up on the original PlayStation. At least on the presentation side of things. Either the games just looked too primitive, or they just looked horrifying and unnerving. The few games that did look nice relied on a strong 2D art style. Which is why I was surprised that I fell in love with Resident Evil the moment the game started. I got goosebumps just experiencing this game for the first time. Why does Resident Evil just click with me? Even though everything just looks so undefined and lo-fi. How is Resident Evil just so charming? Let's jump in. I'm no psychologist, but I assume the reason why haunted homes and mansions are so popular and make up the majority of horror films is because they just are relatable. And not just relatable, but homes are supposed to offer comfort and sanctuary. Which is why the idea of homes being haunted just seems to gel well with audiences. Even if we don't live in mansions like in Resident Evil, people still relate to the idea and the comfort of their private shelters, and the fear of you not being safe even inside your abode. I don't want to go too deeply into the other Resident Evil games, but this sense of insecurity and relatability just doesn't really appear in most of the sequels. And it's probably because they take place in cities. Not that urban settings can't be horrifying, but because cities are so populated and dense, in most cases you don't feel so alone and isolated than inside your own home. It's probably why a lot of people dug into Resident Evil 7. Hell, that's probably why the devs even chose to revisit the haunted house after complaints the series lost its horror touch. There's something inherently more unnerving and terrifying about a zombie around the corner or at the end of the hallway than just at some police station. Of course, the setting and characters also have to look the part. Over the recent decade, I noticed people start to finally talk about low poly horror, how the PS1 graphical limitations play into the unsettling horror with its undefined details. And I think that's largely true. With modern horror games, I'm more concerned of jump scares. Which I don't think highly of to begin with. But PS1 games? Playing them, there's just this really creepy, unnerving sense about them. There is a conflict between the lack of detail and what we're used to and expect. Because of the missing details, it just seems really off to us. There's something so wrong with everything. Same with the colors. It just looks so foul and garish. I like that the game tries to look creepy without relying on lighting alone. That's one of those limitations that gave old horror games a distinct, memorable look. I think I personally prefer that approach to horror more. When seeing these blurry edge, ill-defined, but completely alien creatures, and you just see that there is something obviously off about these creatures that because of the low poly nature, you can't define it. And it's because that you can't define it that it strikes such a chord with you in that fear center. And I think Resident Evil does a pretty good job of making me always feel on edge with the twisted, messed up look. On the topic of twisted, messed up things... I loved the menagerie of enemies in this game. You of course have the zombies. They're threatening even in small numbers, and I like how they can fool you even after you take them down. But then there's also dogs. Flesh-eating crows, spiders, snakes, mutant experiments, plant monsters, and even sharks? It's just so all over the place. 
And I love it. I know they're all supposed to be part of some genetic experiment, but it's just so silly and it's actually endearing. As the series progressed, they mostly just went harder into the genetic experiments and parasite angle, which... I don't know. When you combine the haunted house setting and the menagerie in the game, I just found it more adorable and endearing. And last but not the very least, what makes Resident Evil so charming after two decades was the decision to go with the fixed camera angles. I know there's a reason why fixed cameras aren't really a thing anymore in games. 3D cameras just empower players and make the games more fun. But that's kind of the problem. It empowers players, and it's fun. The opposite fantasies you want from your survival horror games. That's not to say horror games can't be fun or action-packed, but I do think the fixed camera angles do a lot to serve that sense of horror. You're never really sure what's around the corner, what's just out of sight. Your aiming and movement takes a hit, which just adds to the tension. You could argue that's superficial, but then again, you could also say that for the 3D camera games, how they just threw more enemies on screen. Thus making enemies less threatening and less in huge numbers. And of course, there's just something cinematic and iconic that comes with the fixed camera angles. Having those well-placed shots just burns these scenes into my memories, far more than a 3D camera could. In most cases, just to be fair. I even enjoy watching what other games could look like in this style. Something like this, that sense of powerlessness and lack of control, will always stick with me more. And when you combine this with every other characteristic I mentioned up to this point, it's why I can safely say Resident Evil 1 was an incredibly charming game to experience for the first time, even in the year of 2022. I'm Sam Blips, and thanks for watching. I'd like to thank Nati, JJ Plagiarisms, Narv, and Farmer Dude for supporting me on Patreon. I'd also like to thank Rated RPG for offering his perspective. If you're looking for news and reaction videos, I'd appreciate if you gave his channel a look. Links in the description. Till then, thank you.